Okay, so we are trying to look at how did Gordon came out with that formula D1 upon R minus G. Okay, so we'll discuss about how did he come out with the formula D1 upon R minus G. So that was his version D1 upon R minus G. So word of caution, this will be a lot of mathematics oriented derivation. So if you don't like mathematics, you will not understand it. Okay, so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to have a year zero where there will be D0. Year one, where there will be D1. Year two, there will be D2. Year three, there will be D3 and so on and so forth. So D1 would be D0 into 1 plus G. D2 would be D1 into 1 plus G and D1 itself is D0 into 1 plus G. So D2 would be D1 into 1 plus G. So that is D0 into 1 plus G into 1 plus G. So that would be D0 into 1 plus G square. D3 would be D2 into 1 plus G and D2 is already D0 into 1 plus G square. It will be one more 1 plus G. So it becomes 1 plus G cube and this will go on and on and on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, put across uh, a case where we are going to take it back. Okay, so this all will be uh, taken back. So this will be taken back by one here. So this will be divided by one plus R is to one. This will be divided by one plus R is to two. This will be divided by one plus R is to three and so on and so forth. Okay, so the value V0 would be equal to D0 into 1 plus G upon 1 plus R is to 1. That's your D1 upon 1 plus R is to 1. Plus your D2, which is D0 into 1 plus G square upon 1 plus R is to 2. Plus D3, which is D0 into 1 plus G raised to 3 upon 1 plus R is to 3 and so on and so forth. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to put an X or we're going to put some other symbol, which will be, let's say X, and that will be equal to 1 plus G upon 1 plus R. Okay, so I'm going to use 1 plus G upon 1 plus R as X. Okay, and uh, D0, which is there everywhere, I'm going to take it out. So D0 is over here, D0 is over here, D0 is everywhere. So let me take the D0 out. So I'm going to take D0 outside the bracket and then inside the bracket is going to be like this. And then I'm going to put 1 plus G upon 1 plus R as X. So this 1 plus G upon 1 plus R, 1 plus G raised to 1 upon 1 plus R raised to 1 would be X raised to 1. Okay. Then this would be 1 plus G uh, raised square upon 1 plus R square would be X raised to 2. Then this will be X raised to 3 and so on and so forth. Okay. X raised to 1 plus X raised to 2 plus X raised to 3. Okay, and uh, the thing there has to be okay. That's like I'm thinking there has to be d zero also. The second I'm just thinking there should be one plus x plus x square plus x cube, so that one is missing out. Okay, I just got a little bit confused because it's starting with x, x square, x cube. So I'm not able to use that geometric progression formula if that one is not there. So I need to have that one also, x is to zero, one is missing out. Okay, let me think about it a second. One plus g upon one plus will be x. So that will be x square, that will be x cube. So I take, I have taken D0 out, so that won't be there. So D0 value will not be there. So D0 would be, it's just mentioned, but that we, D0 will not be coming in the value calculation. That's what we discussed that D0 will not be coming in the value calculation. Value comes from what is there in the future and not what is there in the past. Okay. So truly the formula, is uh, 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube dot 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 this is equal to 1 upon 1 minus x so what you are getting is x plus x square plus x cube dot 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 and that zero is being missed out all right okay so what okay let me what do one thing let me add one and subtract one okay let me do that let me add one and then later on subtract one. 
So now we have one plus x plus x square plus x cube, and this is what we call it as a geometric progression. And that one plus x plus x square plus x cube is going to boil down to one upon one minus x, and then there'll be like uh, minus one later on. So this all will boil down to d zero, and into bracket this one plus x plus x square will be one upon one minus x, and then there'll be minus one also. Okay, I repeat. So what we did is we wrote x as one plus g upon the one plus r. Okay, that's what we wrote x as one plus g upon one plus r. So the first term one plus g upon one plus r would be x. This would be x square. This would be x cube. But that one was missing, so I added one and then I subtracted one. Then this one plus x plus x square plus x cube is one upon one minus x. So the value is going to come to be equal to d zero, and then it will be one upon one minus x, and then जो हमने प्लस वन किया था दैट आई एम सब्रैक्टिंग ऑल्सो सम डूइंग दैट माइनस वन ऑल्सो ओके सो दिस विल बी फॉलोड दैट विद द माइनस वन ओके दैट मी लेट मी जस्ट टेक द डिनोमिनेटर कॉमन सो दैट विल बी 1 minus x इन द डिनोमिनेटर सो दिस विल बी 1 एंड देन माइनस 1 minus x ओके आई एम जस्ट डूइंग दिस लाइक द नॉर्मल स्कूल मैथमेटिक्स आई एम टेकिंग अ कॉमन डिनोमिनेटर सो दिस विल बी 1 minus x इन द कॉमन सो 1 एंड देन दिस 1 minus विल गो ओवर हियर सो दैट बिकम्स Minus of one minus x. Then I'll just open this bracket. So this will be one minus of minus one will get removed. So one and then this minus will get removed. And then minus of minus x is going to be plus x. Okay. And then finally we'll be putting the value of x. And the value of x was one plus g upon one minus r. So that's where I'm going to get screwed now. So niche koi problem nahi hai. Niche that x will be one plus g upon one plus r. So I take the one plus r on this side. No, that's fine. Actually, I'm fine. Actually, fine. So x would be one plus g upon one plus r. Fine. And now we'll multiply the numerator and denominator by one plus r. So this one plus r would be multiplied. I mean, the numerator will be multiplied by one plus r. Denominator will be multiplied by one plus r. Okay. So this one plus r will get cancelled with this one plus r, and then this one plus r will come inside the bracket. One plus r into one would be one plus r. And then one plus g upon one plus r into one plus r would be one plus g. Okay, and then your one and minus one will get cancelled, and then you have r minus g in the denominator. So in the numerator you have d zero into one plus g, and in the denominator you have r minus g. Okay, and d zero into one plus g is no, it's d one. So that's how we get the formula d one upon r minus g. So finally. I thought I'm going to screw down, uh, screw up in between, but finally we got it. Uh, I'm going to quickly explain it one more time because I was screwing up in between, so I'm going to it's explain it one more time. So v zero is equal to your d one taken back by one year, d two which is taken back by two years, and d three taken back by three years, and so on and so forth forever. D one I'm just replacing it by d zero into one plus g. D two D zero into one plus G square. D three would be D zero into one plus G cube. So on and so forth. Then let's take the D zero out. So all the D zeros are being taken out. And then we'll be using x equal to one plus G upon one plus R. So this will be D zero. So this will be x. This will be x square. This will be x cube. Dot 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 dot. So here I was getting little bit confused. So it's clear that we'll be adding one, and then later on we'll be subtracting one. So this one plus x plus x square plus x cube, etc., etc., etc. This would be adding up to one upon one minus x. So d zero as it is, and this one plus x plus x square plus x cube. This will be one upon one minus x, and then minus one. Then The common denominator would be one minus x. Then upper will be one minus bracket me one minus x. So this one and this minus one will get cancelled and minus of minus x will be plus x. So it will be x upon one minus x. The x is one plus g. So let me just write on the next page. D zero into x upon one minus x and x is your one plus g upon one plus r. So I'll just replace this x and this x by one plus g upon one plus r.
then we'll multiply the numerator by one plus r. We'll multiply the denominator by one plus r. Okay, so one plus r and this one plus r will get cancelled. So what will be there in the numerator will be simply one plus g. And in the denominator, we'll take this one plus r inside the bracket. So one plus r into one would be one plus r, and then one plus g into, divided by one plus r into one plus r would be one plus g. Then this one and this minus one will get cancelled. So it will be r minus g in the denominator. And numerator d zero into one plus g is going to be d one. So this is how you get your Gordon growth model. All right. Uh, this was just for your information. You don't require to remember it. It's a little mathematical uh, explanation.